Just three days after the massacre in Texas, the National Rifle Association's annual meeting is underway in Houston, occurring as families plan funerals for the 19 children and two teachers murdered by a gunman with an AR-15 style weapon. CNN Chief National Affairs Correspondent Jeff Zeleny joins us live from Houston. Uh, Jeff, uh, former President Donald Trump has now weighed in on the renewed uh, gun debate in this country. I'm afraid to ask, but what did he say? Jim, he did. He started the speech out here at the NRA convention by actually reading a uh, name of the victims, all 19 children and two adults who were uh, killed in the Texas school massacre earlier this week with the tolling of the bells. But then literally in the next breath, the former president went on to blame the shooting on anything other than guns, talking about safety in school, uh, talking about uh, mental health challenges, even taking a bit of a crack at the Biden administration for the money sent to Ukraine. But the president squarely, clearly was behind the NRA in his address tonight. The existence of evil in our world is not a reason to disarm law-abiding citizens who know how to use their weapon and can protect a lot of people. The existence of evil is one of the very best reasons to arm law-abiding citizens. Sadly, before the sun had even set on the horrible day of tragedy, we witnessed a now familiar parade of cynical politicians seeking to exploit the tears of sobbing families to increase their own power and take away our constitutional rights. So even with thousands of NRA members gathering here for its convention, literally less than 300 miles from Uvalde, uh, there were also thousands of protesters outside the convention hall, Jim, clearly showing how entrenched this debate in America is. No solutions here, just people pointing to different parts of the problem, Jim. All right, Jeff Zeleny in Houston, thank you very much. Let's discuss with former Ohio governor and CNN senior commentator John Kasich, along with USA Today columnist and CNN senior political analyst Kirsten Powers. Uh, governor Kasich, um, how exactly does the former president rail against cynical politicians, I guess is what he was saying a few moments <laughs> ago, exploiting this well, tragedy? It, it, I mean, he's at the NRA convention. Give me a break. Well, and to say that, uh, you know, basically implying, well, maybe we need more guns. You know, we have so many guns in this country right now, and there is just no reason for this proliferation. And now people are going to say, some people are going to say, well, we need more guns because we have more guns would be safer. I mean, that's not rational. It's ridiculous. And as I listen to him, you know, start to criticize these cynical politicians and all that, uh, it really reminded me why I spent my whole time trying to oppose him for president in the first place. I mean, a terrible message, and this, this should be a message that brings everybody together, not divides us. And I don't know anybody in this country that doesn't think we have a problem because we have too many guns. One thing I will say that he is right about, and that is the mental health issue, and not just for adults, but for our children as well. This is something that is a very serious problem, and it's not just money. We need to build a network uh, with, with, for, with, um, with pediatricians, with the doctors that we see, our primary care doctors, we need to get people help. This was a case, this guy and what he was doing, the behavior he was engaged in with animals, that's the first sign that you know he's got deep trouble. Nobody did anything, but we just can't throw a little money. There has to be a comprehensive plan on that. And of course, what he should have mentioned is a red flag law, which would say that if you know somebody that has a mental health problem, you take their gun away or you don't give them a gun. But he never said that, so he stayed away from that because he is there trying to suck up votes. That's what that was about. And, and money as well. He's not going to cross the NRA while he's uh, trying to raise money for whatever he's doing. And Kirsten Powers, let me get you to weigh in on this. What, what thoughts are going through your mind um, as, you're, as you're hearing all of this? Well, just, you know, the little bit of his speech that I, I was able to read before we came on and what you played, it's he's doing what what the NRA likes to do, which is to point to every single thing except for the gun. <laughs> uh, the gun, and it's usually the same gun that's used uh, whenever we have these massacres. And so, yes, mental health obviously is an issue in the country, and I would say separate from gun violence, we need to take it seriously because people are suffering. And um, But, you know, there are mentally ill people in other countries. The difference is we don't Arm, the other countries don't arm them with semi-automatic weapons. So I think there are other things that could be done. I, I should also mention that that, uh, that Donald Trump also blamed broken families for this. Um, he's been divorced twice. So it, it, the problem is the guns. 
And so we have to do something to keep to keep yeah. these guns out of the hands of dangerous people. And one of the one of the things they could do immediately would be to raise the age uh, to purchase a gun, because most violence with guns is actually committed by young men, uh, young men between the age of, you know, 18 and 21 or whatever. So raise the age to 21 would be one thing we could do right away. What do you think of that, Governor? And comprehensive background. Comprehensive background checks. That's another thing that should be done. And by the way, to the politicians who live in fear of the NRA, let me tell you, in 1994, I voted for the assault weapons ban. My party, there were some in my party that wanted to take my committee away, the budget committee. They lost that. I ran for re-election. I won. I ran for governor in 2010, and the NRA went after me from one part of Ohio to the other. And guess what? They lost that one, too. So to politicians who worry and shake about the thought that the NRA will come after them, you can win. You can beat them. Do the right thing. All right. And that assault weapons ban, by the way, that you supported, it did have some effect. It had an impact. Um, all right, uh, Governor Kasich, Kirsten Powers, uh, thank you very much.